We have our sunshine, but it is a little colder out there than when we talked yesterday at this time, especially to areas along and west of Interstate 81. It's 22 degrees colder in Hot Springs than it was at this hour, and it's cooler, not cold. We are still way above average for this time of the year. 17 degrees cooler in Blacksburg, 25 degrees cooler in Hillsville as that colder air continues to blast in from the west. It's still very, very warm across south side Raleigh, even 74 degrees, but a 20 degree drop off. If you were to drive from Raleigh into Roanoke, colder air still back off towards the west, only in the teens in Indy, 20 degrees in Cleveland as some of that of that cooler air pours in again, still way above average South Boston. We're hanging out in the upper 60s, 66 in Danville kind of splitting the difference in the Star City. We are in the mid 50s right now. Colder for us in Hot Springs, Blacksburg. We are in the upper 30s, upper 40s in Blacksburg right now as our temperatures will continue to drop throughout the course of the afternoon and evening, staying in the mid to upper 40s for the drive home and it's the wind too that kind of adds insult to injury, making it feel colder than it actually is. It's gusty out there. Temperatures fall back to around the freezing mark by midnight tonight back to the 20s overnight. Again, it is gusty twin gusts 20 to 25 miles an hour across much of south side in that 40 mile per hour range in the higher elevations towards hot springs. Hillsville for us are wind gusts in that 35 to 40 mile per hour range as well. We'll keep those gusts in that ballpark Throughout the course of the afternoon, you clearly see here wind speeds things sustain 20 to 25 miles an hour. Once we get into the evening and overnight, you see we do come down a little bit, but it's all relative. We are going to keep things a little breezy as we go through the next uh, couple of days, at least into tomorrow. Right now we do have clear skies, especially north of 460 and into parts of West Virginia. We still have a few extra clouds hanging on to parts of south side. We will see those clouds try to come back a little bit as we go forward tonight and into tomorrow. You see the rain kind of diminishing as it worked its way over the mountains. That was the leading edge of this colder air that kind of blasts in. We are going to stay dry at least for tomorrow for the rest of tonight as well. But then we have a mix potentially coming our way for Sunday. There's the rest of tonight. Again, just a few passing clouds. We will keep those clouds in and out of the region through Saturday. It's once we get into Sunday, we'll start to see those clouds already come back. Here's eight o'clock in the morning. Notice we'll have those mainly cloudy skies and then eventually the opportunity for maybe a few snowflakes in the highlands. But the stronger push of moisture comes in for the second half of the day, mainly for the afternoon and evening. You see the best opportunity for some freezing rain going to be into the highlands along and north of 460. Nonetheless, our road temperatures are very, very warm, so there's a positive out of that. Likely by the start time of this, we'll have road temperatures in the upper 30s and lower 40s. So again, we're looking for any kind of ice accumulation to occur on trees, power lines, but it's not going to be that much to really cause too many issues. Potentially icing up bridges and overpasses, but you may have to scrape as we're just expecting a glaze. Maybe in extreme cases up to a tenth of an inch. Middle 40s on Saturday. There's that mix coming in on Sunday. Once we get into Monday and Tuesday, we're likely going to be playing the back and forth game between rain and maybe a wintry mix at times. Still does not look to be too impactful as again, road temperatures are running on the milder side. And then you see already getting back into the 50s as we approach Valentine's Day.